Following your passion can take you a long way. We got it. Dennis right. Campy is director of the Clark County Skills Center. He's been named Outstanding Career and Technical Educator of the Year by the Washington State Association of Career and Technical Education. I was very flattered and very surprised. I think it's probably about the greatest honor I think that I that I could receive is to be able to be recognized by my peers in career and technical education across the state as the their educator of the year. I'm very proud of that. So I suppose we do have five too. Congratulations. <laughs> Campy has been at the Skills Center since it opened in 1983 and was named director in 1991. He's dedicated his career to helping students discover and nurture their own special talents. To take their genius, that part of them is genius, and we all have an area in us that's genius and be able to develop that. And my objective has been as, a, as a, an administrator and even prior to that as a teacher is never to put that spark out in a student. And, and today, it's, if the spark is out, how do we light that again to get students uh, excited about who they are and the talents that they bring to our society? He's visionary. I think he always, always has the skill center and the kids um, at the center of his decisions and what he does. He really believes in current technical education and the options and the opportunities that provides for kids. But I was really happy to see that he was finally recognized for a lot of the things that he's done and the role he played in CTE statewide, not just at the Skill Center. The Skill Center has 14 technical programs and they're usually booked to capacity. Students who may have struggled in regular schools will often blossom here. Learning by application and kinesthetics and, you know, touching and feeling and doing something for some kids is how they need to learn and they haven't really experienced that before they came here. I came through the, the school system myself. I'm a kinesthetic, hands-on type of, of a learner. And uh, so there are times I struggle uh, during uh, my, my years in elementary especially. And uh, I think it was when I went to Clark College that I really realized that uh, the skills that I had and the abilities I had, I put it into the mechanical areas. And um, I was a journeyman machinist and worked as a machinist for 10 years before I got into education. It's an area that, that I really enjoyed. And Campy is still a hands-on kind of guy. As often as he can, he'll get out of the office and into the classroom. When I walk through classrooms, I come out energized. When school starts in, in the fall, I'm so excited because you're around young people and, and it energizes me. I just I just enjoy that. I enjoy being a part of, of their life. They keep me young. They can see through anyone who's trying to pull the wool over their eyes. So when you're sincere and really care about them, they know that and they're responsive. Uh, I don't like to miss when the buses come in to be out there as often as I can to greet them and to welcome them. Under Campy's guidance, the Clark County Skills Center has become one of the top technical schools in the nation. About half of its students continue their education at a university or community college, and Campy believes employers are eager to hire their graduates. We're at a, a point in our economy, in our state, and actually in our country, where you have to have one of two things. Either you need to have a university education, or you need to have technical skills. There's not a lot in between those anymore. So for a young person to come out and be able to leave a high school and go out and, and have a, a viable career uh, available to them that has a livable wage, you need one of the two of those. Campy also makes frequent trips to Olympia to advocate for career and technical education before the Washington legislature. My concern has been that there may be some decisions that are being made uh, at our state level that help those on bound for a, a university, but not so much those who aren't. He saw enough of a concern that he decided to run for office in 2010. And while he wasn't elected, Campy has remained a strong advocate for CTE programs and for all students. To tell you the truth, I announced my retirement a year ago and I decided not to because I feel my work is unfinished and what I want to do for young people. And I'm just, uh, I'm just totally committed to that and, and to that direction. When he's ready, he'll retire, and he's not ready yet. He has things he still wants to accomplish and do, and he should be doing that. He should be working on that. So it doesn't surprise me. Um, I think that when he does retire, he'll still be involved somehow. I don't think that he's not a person I can foresee any way retiring and going away to fish the rest of his life. I think that he's going to somehow be involved with the Skills Center. 
In fact, Campy is forming a new organization for retired CTE directors, so he and others can continue to advocate for students. We can continue to play a role in having an influence as a, as a larger group of, uh, of current technical educators as retirees and probably have a lot more freedom. In fact, I know we would. We would have a lot more freedom in our ability to be able to say what I think needs to be said and have an influence on what happens in our state. Smile, smile, smile. <laughs> Dennis Campy is passionate about career and technical education, and at the Clark County Skills Center, he's helping students find their own passion. I think I have the best job in the world being able to work with uh, high school age students, and uh, I couldn't think of a better job now.